May Hill and his lot isn't slackening the pace for an instant. Meanwhile, there's a terrific dice on the roads between Fogarty 4th and Nation 6th. They're still together into Parliament Square, Ramsey. Dunlop is climbing the leaderboard towards 6th place. At Windy Corner, Hislop is so far ahead he can afford to slacken his pace a little as he races over the mountain for the fifth time. Fifth place man Andy McGladdery seems intent on completing the course on one wheel. Leach at Beluff, he's slipping down the leaderboard. Soon a loose fairing will put him even further back. On the mountain, Nations made it in front of Fogarty, but he started the race half a minute ahead, so the Norton is no threat to Fogarty's Honda. Robert Dunlop slugging it out at the gooseneck with Andy McGladdery, who almost clouts the bank in his eagerness to catch the Ulsterman. Fogarty's ahead again in the Anglo-Japanese battle with Nation at Hilbury. Hislop begins his final lap with a 35 second advantage. It looks like he's cruising to victory as he approaches Guthrie's memorial. Jeffries now has little chance of catching the man who's become the sensation of the 1989 TT. But he hasn't given up. He's on his way to another 118 mile per hour lap. McGladdery, Cole and Dunlop at Milltown in the battle for fifth. As Hislop breaks hard on the approach to the Craig and powers down towards Brandish. Jeffries arrives at Windy Corner knowing he's second best on the day, but he still finds time for a cheery wave. McGregor is well clear in third place aboard his private Honda. But Fogarty's in trouble, cruising back to the pits covered in oil from a broken breather pipe. His lop at Hilbury, just two miles from becoming only the third man to win three in a week. On his NS500 Grand Prix Honda, Laycock in fifth will be the only two-stroke rider in the top 25. McGregor is right behind and heading for third. Hislop blasts along the Glen Crutchery Road to take the flag after a six-lap TT at an average of 118.23 miles per hour. The 27-year-old Scott has earned his place alongside Mike Halewood and Joey Dunlop in the TT Hall of Fame. But as he stands on the rostrum, there's a nightmare push over the line for an exhausted cull whose Norton broke a chain half a mile from home. Hislop's exploits in the road racing capital of the world make him the new pretender to the TT throne. But now we've got to look forward to the 1990 Isle of Man TT and that head-to-head -head battle between you and Joey Dunlop. How do you think that'll work out? Uh, it'll be very interesting if we're both on equal bikes. I'd like to see, well, I don't know what'll happen. It'll be quite interesting. But do you reckon you can beat him? I think so, yeah, I think so. I think I'll have to get really fit though. I mean, that's been quite tiring for myself. So I think I'll have to really be ready for it next year.